welcome to OC Christian Center. We are so happy to have you joining us on Facebook and YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed or liked us, please do that today. We're excited for you to hear our amazing service and be blessed by it. And if you've been blessed by it, let's share it with the world. Let's share it with our friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media you have. We want to get the word out there that Jesus is Lord of our lives. Now come on in and let's get excited for what's about to happen. Well, good evening, everybody. So good to see all of you again. It's Sunday night, Soulful Sunday, of course. And uh, with all the happenings going on at our new building and setting up and tearing down and all the stuff we had to do there, it's nice to kind of finally crawl our way back to some type of normal routine and be back to our normal streaming times again. So yeah, we are back and up and running on Sunday evening. So, so good to see all of you back here. And um, man, I'm uh, really excited for our hymn for tonight, a really great one. Uh, but man, talking about our, our building right there, how many of you uh, are enjoying our services in our own OCCC facility out in Costa Mesa? What an amazing set of services we had this morning. Uh, right there, uh, corner of Harbor and close to the 405. And wow, wow, wow. What a, what a great time in the presence of Lord. What a great prophetic flow right there in the service. What a great time of healing. I see you all. Eve is putting her hand up right there. Mary says, yes, yes, yes. Amen. Susie says, praise the Lord. Awesome. And what a, what a great transformation. <clears throat> a lot of you were there helping us a couple of weeks ago, maybe like three or four weeks ago. Hey, Cynthia, yes, hallelujah, something to give God praise for. Uh, a couple, uh, many of you were there with us uh, when we started uh, some of the teardown in the building and what a huge transma transformation from that day when we were there with you guys for the first time in the building to last week when we were in there and it was kind of cleaned up but today, what a transformation. And so there's still plenty being done this week in the building. Some technical things that need to be sorted out. Uh, and I don't know if you noticed, like the baseboard and all that kind of fancy finishing trimming and things need to go in. So just little detail things like that. And we are on our way to having a really beautiful facility. It is already beautiful. I love the... Uh, the choice of colors and uh, the, the design inside there, the carpet, the chairs are so comfortable. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying that right there. What a beautiful presence of God this morning. And wasn't it amazing to be able to have service and when it got to around 11.30, not having to watch the clock and go, hey, uh, <clears throat> we need to wrap up right now. We need to be out of here in half an hour. That was really amazing. Yeah, Teresa, yeah, I loved it too. Patsy, good to see you too. Uh, good evening to you. So yeah, what what an amazing time. But let's get to why we are here tonight. Man, another beautiful hymn I have right here for you. I can't wait to play. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, they are really, really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. I can't wait to play this one for you. So let's get right to it. And let's see if there's anybody right here that knows this one. I hope, I hope one, one of you knows this.
Ooh, we have a couple answers up there. Let's just see right here. We have uh, Susie. Susie says, praise the Lord, meeting at the cross. No, Susie, that is not the right title. Mary Wall says, we shall come rejoicing. Mary, it is not, we shall come rejoicing. That is not the title of the song. And Eve Trout right here came in and said, Blessed Jesus, thine we are. Uh, Eve, you are the closest one. That is not the title of the song, but that is one of the lines out of the song. The chorus of the song goes something like this. It goes, Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. Thou hast bought us thine, we are. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, Thou hast bought us thine, we are. So Eve got one of the lines of, it's hell like a chorus but it's like the last two stanzas of every verse has a different line that's like a chorus and that is from the first verses chorus blessed jesus blessed jesus thou has bought us thine we are so yeah we're gonna give this one to eve right there you are really really close the actual title of the song is savior like a shepherd lead us savior like a shepherd, lead us. And this is our author for our hymn tonight right here. Dorothy Ann Thrupp. And she was born 19, 1779 and died in 1847. Now, I say she is the author of the song. But you'll hear when we get to the story behind the hymn that there is a little bit of uh, unsurety about who the who the actual author of the hymn was, but most people or hymnologists attribute this hymn to Dorothy Ann Thrupp. So let's get behind our um, story behind the hymn tonight, right? Yeah. So our story behind the hymn I got from uh, the website again, hymnstudiesblog.wordpress. Dot com. So those of you that know the publisher's WordPress, it's a blog, uh, a hymn studies blog that's on the actual website where they have some great information and uh, stories and history behind hymns and authors and writers, composers uh, that have written some of these really beautiful hymns of the church. So let, let's get behind our hymn for tonight. Author Dorothy Ann Thrupp, 1779 to 1847. And our hymn title for tonight, Savior, Like a Shepherd, Lead Us. No one knows precisely who wrote these words. The text is usually attributed to Miss Dorothy Ann Thrupp, who was born at Paddington Green in Middlesex near London, England, on July 20th, 1779, the daughter of Joseph Thrupp. Very little is known about her, except that she was a prolific writer of children's verses and other devotional materials. However, she seldom signed her name to any of her works, or she often used only a pseudonym. Starting in 1830, she began editing a collection of poems entitled Hymns for Children. This particular hymn first appeared around 1836 in the fourth edition of Miss Thrupp's collection. Like all the other hymns in the series, it was unsigned. Some were her own work, while others were produced by different people. In 1838, it, it appeared again unsigned in Mrs. Herbert Mayo's selection of hymns and poetry for the use of infant and juvenile schools. It is known that Miss Thrupp did not contribute several hymns and poems to this work, which was signed with her initials D.A.T. for Dorothy Ann Thrupp. 
because her initials did not appear with this hymn, it has never been fully proven that she was actually the author. Dorothy Anthrop died at St. Mariel Bone in Middlesex near London, England on December 14, 1847. The tune was composed for this text by William Bradbury, who lived from 1816 to 1868. It first appeared in his 1859 Sunday School song collection entitled Oriola. Through the years, this hymn, written so simply that even children can understand it without any trouble, has become extremely popular. So there you have it, our little history behind our hymn for tonight and also a little unclarity there about did she actually write the song but um yeah as i say hymnologists believe that this was the work of dorothy anthrop 1779 1847 if you're just joining us tonight beautiful hymn right here savior like a shepherd lead us written by the lady you see on your screen right there dorothy anthrop are you ready tonight to worship with us right here? Man, I love this hymn. And what a great prayer. Praying for the leading of the Savior in our life in every area. Let's sing this together. Come on, join me on this. Bless 
Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to Thee. Wow, isn't that such a, be such a beautiful song right there? Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, Thou hast bought us Thine we are, blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. Hear thy children when we pray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, early let us turn to thee. And in the last chorus right there, blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast loved us, love us still. Wow, I love that. One of um, a really powerful line in the song, I really like too, that uh, Eve uh, wrote down right there, grace to cleanse and power to free. I love that. Grace to cleanse and power to free. Wow. As we begin to sing about Savior like a shepherd lead us. Man, what an amazing Savior we serve. When we read through the book of Psalms, we hear about the goodness of the Savior. We hear that He is our shepherd we will never want. We hear that He will lead us and guide us with His right hand. We hear that the word of the Lord will be a light unto our path and His word will light up our way. We hear that as we trust in His word and as we trust and hold on to His promises, wow, His word will never fail. Heaven and earth may pass away, but His word will endure forever. And the, excuse me, the promises He's given us, it will never return to Him void, but it will accomplish everything that He has sent it out to be. And I love that as we stand on the brink of a, a new week this week, what confidence we can go into this week with as we prepare our work week or whatever you have going on. I know it's summertime and some of you might be taking off with your families, traveling or whatever it may be. Wow, what a great uh, confidence booster. What a great assurance we have. What a great blessing we have that we can stand confident in the fact that Jesus, our Savior, will lead us. He will lead us like a shepherd. We are his sheep. Man, isn't that amazing how he cares for us. John tells us that the sheep of the Lord will know his voice. They will know his leading. They will recognize him. And so as we go through this week, we know the voice of our Savior. We recognize his leading. We recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to us. We recognize open doors he puts before us. We recognize his power that works in us every day. We recognize the faithfulness of God. We recognize that the grace and the goodness and the mercy and the salvation of God are continually working on our behalf. What a beautiful Savior we serve. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. And what a great Savior He is. You're joining us tonight right here for Soulful Sunday. And you've never taken the opportunity to accept this beautiful Savior in your life. For Him to come alongside of you, to guide you, to carry you when you are weak, to strengthen you, to be a voice of wisdom and understanding in your life. But most of all, to pour His grace, His mercy, His forgiveness, and His love all over you. I want to give you that opportunity right here tonight. Won't you pray this little prayer after me and believe in your heart that Jesus will come in and turn your life around for good. Pray with me like this and say, Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me so that I can have life. Wash me and cleanse me with your blood. Forgive me of my sin. Jesus, from tonight, I will live for you and I will serve you. Come and be the Lord of my life. In your amazing name, amen. Wow, what a great opportunity you've taken a hold of right there. Thank you for praying that prayer with us. And right on the screen, you see 
our email address right there, info at occhristiancenter.com, info at occhristiancenter.com. Write to us, let us know that you prayed this amazing prayer and you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Write to us and let us know how you are enjoying uh, our services and our programming we have all through the week right here. We'd be so blessed to hear from you. Well, that's it from me for tonight. I hope you enjoy this little, this beautiful hymn with us right here. Our author for tonight right there, Dorothy Ann Thrupp, 1779, died uh, 1847. And uh, the hymn for tonight, as you all heard, Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. What a beautiful one right there. God is leading you this week. He is pres- prospering your path this week. He's leading you to places of peace. Come on, He's with you in whatever you do. Allow Him to lead you this week. Well, thank you for joining us right here. I saw a couple of your names go by. Susie Farmer uh, joining us all the way from Texas right there. Mary Wall, so good to see you live here with us. Cynthia Torres, good to see you. Uh, Eve Trout, a great job on uh, getting this hymn there. I, 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 I was hoping you'd, you'd know this one. Uh, Teresa, good to see you. Teresa Saad, Patsy Tehran, hope you and Homer are doing well. It was so good to see you guys this morning again after uh, such a long while. Uh, yeah, don't forget uh, tomorrow night we have Miracle Monday. I'm not sure about... Uh, our daily devotionals right now yet uh, because Pastor Sam will still be uh, out at the building uh, but we'll see uh, you'll you'll get a notification uh, that uh, we are online if he does uh, get the opportunity to stream but we still have uh, builders construction workers painters and all kinds of stuff coming through uh, the building this entire week but I think we will be having Miracle Monday uh, at 7 30 p.m. tomorrow and uh, Worship Wednesday, of course, Wednesday night at 7.30, uh, Thankful Thursday, Thursday night, uh, Friday night, Fire Friday. And then, of course, we see all of you back right here at our facility in Costa Mesa, our Super Sunday live experience at the OC Christian Center building, 9.30 a.m. And that's the address right there, 33 Zero three, Harbor Boulevard, uh, Unit A one zero four, Costa Mesa, California nine two six two six. What a beautiful thing! It was kind of really strange today, not to, <laughs> not to have to pack any of the equipment away and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's gonna t- it's gonna take some getting used to, not uh, having to be at the storage. Uh, before the sun even comes up <laughs> on a Sunday morning. It does feel pretty weird not to do that after we've been doing it for so long. So we are really grateful for the building. Cynthia, you're welcome. Uh, glad you're always enjoying our program. Mary, yeah, thank you. You are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, great to see all of you guys. We'll see you uh, during the week for our streaming as we get on live. God bless you this week. And uh, man, have an amazing time. Be blessed as the people of God. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thanks for joining our stream today. We love you and we're here for you. If you have any prayer requests, you can definitely private message us and we'll be there to pray with you. Have a blessed day.